The passing of Reverend Moon in early September 2012 brought tens of thousands of mourners from all over the world to Korea to pay their respects to this religious pioneer and peace-loving global citizen. The mourners included former heads of state, prominent religious leaders, and civil and political figures from many countries. We mourn his passing, but at the same time, we thank him for introducing this great revolution for peace and reconciliation in Asia and around the world. Reverend Moon was a dominant figure in the world peace movement, and I was so moved when I heard them say that he said he had come and he has done his work, and he did, and may God bless him. Reverend Moon's life was one of selfless dedication to the mission of bringing peace to the world. At the age of only 15, in response to an intense spiritual encounter with Jesus, Reverend Moon made a solemn promise to live his life in the service of God and humanity. Despite the hardships of living in an occupied land, experiencing the ravages of war and the harsh deprivations of a North Korean labor camp, he never wavered in this determination. From extremely humble beginnings in a divided and war-torn Korea, he began to build a movement of people who dared to share his vision of a good and peaceful world. After years of intense searching, study, and prayer, he published The Divine Principle, a teaching which has led many to a deeper understanding of Scripture and of God's providence. What has injected a new energy and new life in my ministry is to have come to discover the essence of the divine principle, which contains the spiritual principles that are deeply rooted in the Bible. Known primarily as a religious leader, Reverend Moon worked in many other fields of human life to promote the welfare of all humankind and to champion the sharing of technology. He paid particular attention to the ocean and the fishing industry developing many enterprises to help alleviate the problem of hunger around the world. Reverend Moon also had a great love for sports and the arts, especially as a means to inspire harmony and strengthen moral character, and founded many organizations such as the Peace Cup for Soccer, the Little Angels, and the Universal Ballet. In 1971, he came to America, a nation he understood to play a crucial role in the providence of God. He was especially concerned about the breakdown of the family and the spread of atheistic materialism. And he spoke passionately at venues all over the nation, including a packed Madison Square Garden. And at the Yankee Stadium, despite a ferocious storm just moments before he spoke. And at the Washington Monument in front of an audience of 300,000. 민족적으로 결성된 미국은 통일 세계의 모형이니 미국의 날이 센 하나님의 축복은 미국만을 위한 축복이 아니라 하나님이 다 같은 자녀로 전 세계 형제 자매들에게 나눠 주어야 할 축복인 것을 확실히 알고 He also met with prominent US leaders to remind them of America's true purpose and mission. But some saw the success of his ministry as a threat, and negative campaigns began to emerge, creating misunderstanding about the man and the movement. This culminated in Reverend Moon's imprisonment in 1984 on charges of tax evasion. A broad spectrum of religious and political leaders rallied in support of Reverend Moon, recognizing that this was actually a case of religious persecution. None of us is secure until all of us are secure. Despite this unfair treatment, he continued to invest in America. Concerned about the liberal bias in the nation's capital, he founded the Washington Times in 1982. While many were skeptical, 
the newspaper soon became known as a champion for freedom, faith, and family values. The American people know the truth, and you, my friends at the Washington Times, have told it to them. Together we rolled up our sleeves and got to work. And, oh yes, we won the Cold War. Teaching that the family is the school of love and the cornerstone of peace, Reverend Moon conducted cross-cultural marriage blessings for both newlyweds and previously married couples. The blessing is like having a shield around your marriage. Marriage represents the marriage between God and His bride. He wants to be one with you, not just in your church, but in your marriage. Reverend Moon founded the American Clergy Leadership Conference, one of the most racially and religiously diverse coalitions of faith leaders in America. Reverend Moon's mission went far beyond Christianity, and he invested wholeheartedly in interfaith dialogue, bringing Jews, Christians, and Muslims together through the Middle East Peace Initiative. Concerned that the voice of religion should be involved at the highest level of peace building, he initiated the call for an interfaith council to be established at the United Nations. Even well into his 80s, Father Moon, along with Mother Moon and his family, continued to conduct peace tours, visiting nations around the world, and embracing all of God's people with his love and teaching. He was a man that was well aged in 2001, but he preached 50 nights in 50 states and he preached from anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours each night. To the end of his days, Reverend Moon never stopped speaking of God's will for the world. Reverend Sung Young Moon so loved the world that he gave his heart. I thank God for Reverend Moon. I thank God for his family. I thank God for using him. I thank God for his mission. Behind every great man is a great woman. And true mother, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, stood by her husband's side for over 50 years. She is now leading the movement forward as we continue to build on the strong worldwide foundation laid down together with her husband. Mother Moon also embarked on numerous speaking tours of her own. Since 1992, she has led the Women's Federation for World Peace in countries all over the world where it continues to carry on reconciliation and humanitarian work. After bidding farewell to Father Moon, along with the tens of thousands gathered at the newly built Peace World Center, Mother Moon thanked all those who came from near and afar to join her in the historic Ascension Ceremony. She encouraged us to keep moving forward and to realize Father Moon's vision of God's good and peaceful world. <laughs>